what's happening guys so I got the Ames heat gun uh, Harbor Freight and uh, it's supposed to go up to around 2100 degrees or something like that so wanted to uh, give it a test and see see how well it actually worked so this is me opening up everything it comes with a little package for you to keep stuff in uh, battery installation super simple it comes with the battery so that was kind of cool uh, just quick test showing 88 degrees I like how clear the screen is that I thought that was pretty cool uh, then I've got the fluke uh, much better unit uh, I trust that one a lot more it's a uh, you will see some discrepancies here between the two but uh, so yeah we're showing 273 and 256 uh, that was something I just welded on a few minutes ago that's the third one that one's uh, the, like 20 20 something dollar Harbor Freight model Ames and uh, so I got all three of them I'll test against one another and we're gonna light up the forge get some heat and see how well it does do 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 Alright, so uh, the one on the left isn't going to read anything if it's over a thousand degrees. The, uh, the, both of the aims are showing completely different things, but I'm going to go with that hotter one because that makes a lot more sense. Showing 1500 degrees, checking the spike 1390 for that color. Uh, might be showing a little bit cold, but... Yeah, it still gives me pretty good readings. All right, 2,082 is what we got it up to. Probably a lot of, little bit hotter in there than that, but, uh, you know, all in all, I think it's a pretty cool uh, thing, especially for 50 bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. So that's about all I got. You have a good day.